Hey, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle, and I'm here to preview some reels that were recently brought into my shop, or came in by the mail by way of my uh, online reel repair uh, service. And I'm going to show you some of the reels that we'll be working on this week, talk a little bit about the, the reel itself, and possibly uh, which ones will make it to video. So the first group was actually dropped off at my shop, local customer. So he said, that we're done with the season, it's time to tune these up. And he's an old reel enthusiast, so what you see in front of you here are older reels. They've uh, all been fishing in the Atlantic, and it's time for a um, little bit of a tune-up. So the first one that we have is a um, 306 Mitchell. These are excellent reels. There's uh, hard to find fault with them. They have the um, uh, dynamic or planetary type of a, um, a spool. As you'll notice, that spool does not just go straight up and down. It kind of hops along. It doesn't. Uh, it takes intermediate steps along the way. And this uh, this reel is very popular. It's a medium size. It's not quite as big as the Mitchell 302. Uh, that's the larger one, and it's bigger than the Mitchell 300, which would be the one below this. But a very nice reel, relatively easy to service. I've done some videos on those, so I probably won't do them. They did ask me to take the line off of these as it's the end of the season, and that's always a good idea. Uh, monofilament is inexpensive, right? And if it's inexpensive, don't risk losing your fish because you want to get one more year out of it. The problem that you have with monofilament is that it stretches and also that it's subject to UV deterioration. So if you don't know the last time you put it on there, get it off of there. And if you're doing an annual service, it's always a good practice to do that. So I have a 306 here. I have another 306 here. That's, I guess, the brother or the sister reel to it. And uh, same idea. This one's working fine. And uh, I would expect that we will be able to uh, to go ahead and, and tune both of these up and get them out there fishing again. So before I go any further, I want to take a moment and thank our first responders and essential personnel and everybody involved in keeping us safe during this pandemic. Uh, your efforts, your dedication to task, and your ability to do this day in and day out is truly amazing. And I want to thank you for it. That's all of our first responders all of our essential personnel, all of the people in the supply chains, all of our uniformed services, the folks in the, the hospital and medical systems and long-term and acute care. And you know who you are. We know who you are. Thank you very much for all it is that you do. Okay, here comes the Zebco. This is the Zebco XRL80. I don't think I've done one on these. I know I've done a, a bigger Zebco reel. And again, you can kind of tell same owner. It's the same, uh, same monofilament. And when you start to see that the line is has got memory in it, you can see how it's curling off of the reel. Then it's then it's time to uh, to change that line over. And again, they told me go right ahead and go do that. Next one up is the one he said is broken. Same owner, same line. This one's broken. So this is a Mitchell 301. It's the uh, the right-handed version, right-handed crank version of the 300. And uh, it's missing a screw, but I think maybe what's happened here, somebody may have taken this off and just not uh, not set the gears correctly. So I'll probably do a video on this one. I don't think I've done the 301. I always do the 300s, uh, plenty of those, but I haven't done the 301. We'll go ahead and do one of those. And this one, they tell me, has got a, uh, a, a shimmy and a shake to it. And I don't know if we have a spool that's out of alignment, or if we have a bent frame, or if we have something else going on here, but this one does struggle. You can see as I turn it, you can't get a full, and you certainly can't do this. It'll, you'll get about a quarter of a turn, and you get that resistance right away. This is the Surfmaster 150. There's one smaller than this, that's the Surfmaster 100. There was one uh, two bigger than that, the Surfmaster 200, which has a wider frame. And then you go to the Surfmaster 250. The Surfmaster 250 used the same gearing, but the Surfmaster 250 was the predecessor of the Jigmaster. And when the Jigmaster came along, everybody switched over because the Jigmaster was high speed. So we've got something going on in there. And just as I'm looking at this right now, unless I'm crossing my eyes, it looks like this frame has got a bend to it. It doesn't look like we're square here. Looks like the top is coming in. That's probably the cause of this. 
I'm not going to say probably. I'm going to say it is the cause of this. I'm going to. I have a uh, another uh, Surfmaster side plate. I think I'm going to swap them out before I go any further. And uh, if that's the case, then uh, then there's something clearly in the posts here. You can see that it's just not right. So that one probably got whacked on board. Probably hit a, uh, a, a post or maybe the gun wall or maybe got dropped on deck when it was uh, fighting a fish. Didn't do enough to crack the side plate, but moved that inner ring in. You can actually see the gap in the in inner ring here. And that's probably what's causing all of the friction. Look, that gap should be tight like it's tight on the bottom here. But we've got quite a bit of a gap here. And my guess is that's what's dragging the performance down on that. So those are some vintage wheels that got dropped off. Let's take a look at some of the other ones that have come in. I've already previewed this reel. This is a PGS Ambassador. It's a very interesting one. It's got a three gear drive and it was the subject of a YouTube short that I did showing the three gears and how they mount to the outside and how they drive this reel. So this is a left-handed version. It has a crack in the case that uh, I think maybe could be epoxied. I'm not going to do that, but I'll recommend it that it be done. And uh, that's one that's subject to a video because I haven't done one of those before. Okay, let's look at a couple more that have come in. Here's a Shimano Triton. This is a great little reel. This is the TR200 Graphite. Fantastic reel. In this case, they lost the little spool adjuster here. They've substituted some kind of a rubber cap on there, but the rubber cap doesn't put tension on the spool. So what's happening now is excessive play back and forth. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of a wiggle. And so I've ordered the parts. And interestingly enough, uh, they were available right on eBay. And uh, the parts probably are 10 or $11, something like that. There's a spring and a cap that goes on here that's threaded. Uh, when that comes in, I'll rebuild the entire reel. Uh, but uh, we'll see if I, uh, if I have that as a uh, as a video. If not, I'm certainly going to do it. And then here's the last one. Matt came and sent me these two. Actually sent me four. Two to be worked on and two that are probably just going to be parts. Here's a Level Wine 350. I've done this one before. He's included the missing torsion bar. The first thing I want to do is I want to see is the torsion bar advance working? And it is. So that can be uh, worked on. I think this might be an example of a reel that we want to go ahead and show you how to clean up all of the the junk on the reel, but uh, certainly can repair that one. Then we have the Pen 9, Peerless 9. This one seems to be working, probably just needs a tune-up. And interestingly enough, the 9 is the one that lines up with the 209 and the 309 in the Pen lineup. A lot of people think that the 109 is the one that makes um, the, the set complete from small to medium to large. It's not. It's the Pen 9. The 109 is a completely different structure. It has a back pedal to it. It doesn't, uh, when you release the free spool, that line will turn backwards. And everybody, not everybody, but I get a lot of people calling up saying, why doesn't the anti-reverse work in cast mode? Well, it does work. You just didn't know that. And then these two will probably make... Um, parts reels, and, and Matt said go ahead and take them as donor reels if it, if it costs too much to repair. Well, this is an Abu Garcia Axe Air. It's got a bad bearing. I can tell that right away. You can hear it. So, we'll see if uh, if I have a bearing laying around where you will repair it. Probably make it the subject of a video just because we haven't done one of these for sure. Uh, if the bearing can salvage the reel, then we'll get it back to Matt. If we can't, then uh, we'll just put it on the pile. And the last one here is a Shakespeare contender. I'm just not quite sure what happened here. It's missing the bail. It's not worth a repair. So that's just going to be a parts reel. So those are the projects that are lining up for the week. These are the ones that have just recently come into my shop. I hope you stay tuned. The best way to see these are to subscribe to my channel. If you do subscribe to the channel, use the notification button. That notification button is going to tell you when I post and I post frequently. And uh, when I post, you'll be able to make a decision as to whether that's a reel that you want to see. If you do, I welcome you to, to watch the reel and learn from it. 
Uh, we've talked a little bit about the ones that are going to do that there. If you have a question on any of these reels, please leave them in the comments section. Uh, I try to answer those uh, each day. And finally, if you have a reel like Matt or the others that have uh, dropped the reels off or mailed them in, I do repair the reels uh, as a service. And uh, if you would like more information on that, please send an email to the address on the business card that follows, and I'll be happy to provide you with real repair information. So to everybody that's a first responder and essential personnel, thank you again for all that you do. To everybody, please stay safe, stay well, and stay watching. This is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Have a great day.